got your New York Knicks heading down to South Beach here, square off against the Miami Heat. Right now, over on Bet US, Heat are laying three, Knicks plus 125, total sitting at a pretty low here, 207 and a half, in my opinion. Um, Knicks have been up and down, you know, lost to the Spurs in overtime, uh, lost a close one at home to the Thunder, although I, they played pretty well, but then. You know, destroyed the Raptors uh, by 44 points, 145 point output from this Knicks team. Certainly playing um, super hard, but I feel like you know these are uh, kind of mirror teams in a lot of ways. Both playing pretty hard. Uh, both teams I don't feel great when I'm on the opposite side of. Uh, how say you, Chris? What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Knicks here, Sean. I was kind of hoping you would go with the Knicks here because you've been a Knicks uh, Knicks ace for most of the season yeah. when they're in the right spot. Um, but, you know, I know that it's in Miami, uh, and I know that Miami is going to get some players back. I believe Callum Martin should be back tonight. Uh, Duncan Robinson, I think, has a chance to play. I think he's questionable or maybe even probable at this point. So, okay. you know, I mean, I, I get it. You know, Miami's 0-2 against the Knicks this year as well. So they're looking at this as the the final revenge game at home. And Miami is also fighting to get out of the play in tournament, right? So uh, ultra motivated, you would think. But I think the Knicks are also pretty damn motivated. They're just three games out of the play in tournament themselves. A lot can happen at the end of this season. And if you look at the way these two teams are, yes, they are mirrors of, of each other in the sense that very stingy on defense, right? That's where they're predicated. You know, very gritty teams, very coached very similarly in that way, right? With like tough cultures. Uh, but the the separation here for me is the Knicks and their offense, which the last two weeks, they're right back to producing at a high level, second overall in offensive efficiency. Uh, whereas the Heat are still kind of struggling in that area without Tyler Hero. You know, a, a guy who is averaging 21 points per game, but shooting 40% from beyond the arc. They're still without him. And if Jared, uh, I'm sorry, not Jared Butler, if Jimmy Butler, uh, I still got the Wizards on my mind. Uh, if if uh, Jimmy Butler has does not have a big game, then, you know, that Miami offense is kind of is kind of clumsy, right? And we know that the Knicks at this point with Jalen Brunson, like they, they know who they are. They're getting healthier. They should have Mitchell Robinson back tonight, at least playing some minutes. Uh, OG Ananobi's not back yet, but since they're getting healthier, it just feels like the excitement, the momentum of this team is starting to grow and they're coming off two straight losses, pretty, yeah. pretty heartbreaking losses at the end of those games. So I think the Knicks are going to win this game straight up. I don't think that, you know, we don't get any credit again for taking money line plays on the show. So I might as well just go with plus three, but this just seems like another very defensive oriented, tough battle. That's probably going to come down to a final shot. But if you're giving me three points on the Knicks, uh, I'm going to take that all day. Making some great points on why we should probably hop on the Knicks here. Uh, Miami is one and two straight up uh, versus the Knicks at home, and then and then you think about it. I mean, probably a bunch of New York uh, Knicks transplants down there in Florida uh, cheering on their old Knicks. So yeah, I could see uh, I could see them having a little uh, edge there too. We didn't get to talk about it because it was on a on a Friday show, but the Heat uh, beating the Trailblazers by sixty points was uh, pretty insane. Uh, certainly says more about the Trailblazers than I think anything, uh, but uh, very comical. Uh, One forty two to eighty two in a in a freaking NBA game. Uh, Noobs, how say you? Any thoughts here on Knicks Heat? He didn't think the Trailblazers would lose by more than 53 points, which they did to the Thunder, but they somehow outdid themselves. It's, you know, yeah. you could never underestimate the impressiveness of this. Now, here's what I'll say, Chris. If the Knicks win outright, I'll give you half a win. Well, I had just like a casual little half win on the record there. Go oh, ahead. You oh, can have it. Generous. Because I. I I feel pretty confident in the Heat, actually, in this spot. Huh? Now, I don't show much value on them. Again, this line is three. I have them closer to four-point favorites. And uh, what it is, they're very similar teams, but the Heat are, in a lot of ways, a better version of what the New York Knicks are. The Knicks are a little bit deeper. I think they maybe have a little bit of a better of a second unit, but Miami's going to be healthy tonight. Now, that's also a little bit of a double-edged sword. They're going to have to reintegrate some guys. That message was usage. That messes with roles. Uh, again, the lineups will look a little bit different here, but... Depending on how Jalen Brunson plays, if he's not having a great game, the Heat with Butler and Bam Adebayo could have the two best players on the floor, and we know they have the best coach. So uh, this is a game where Miami kind of slogs through the year. They start to pick it up at the end. I think this is a game where we see the best version of the Heat. We're going to see Spolster using timeouts to draw plays that he hasn't used much of. Uh, I think we're going to see Butler play a little more minutes. I think we're going to see Bam play a little bit more minutes here. But uh, again, I don't really see much value in backing Miami, and I get the case for the Knicks. The Knicks have been good in spots like this. They've 
they've got the three-point variance potential here where if those start going down, uh, this game is going to get real messy. But uh, it's just, it's it's a great game. This is going to be an awesome game. I'm going to watch every minute of this game closely. Uh, I just don't think that I have a good betting angle for it. Light up for Chris on the Knicks uh, plus three. And uh, yeah, should be a good let's game. Not for, yeah, let's not forget the Knicks still probably pretty motivated from being kicked out of the Eastern Conference playoffs last year. Oh, by yeah. the Miami Heat, so uh, something, something in there always, always motivating them. There is a history, an extra chip on the shoulder. 